Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Debsy and place to be, it's Debsy. Boop, that's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys and welcome back, like I said, to my channel. Happy, what day is it? It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. I hope everybody is having a great day and a wonderful weekend. Um, It's that time of the month again and this time everybody can get in on it because it is that time, meaning it's Universal Yum's. And that means I have a special guest star who you know will remain off camera, but you know who it is. Who is it? Dolly. It's Dolly. So we, me and Dolly, me and my mom, for people who don't know that Dolly's my mom and you put in the comments, who's Dolly? Dolly is my mom. And if you ask, do you call her Dolly instead of mom? And no, I don't just call her Dolly. I call her mom. So, or Tilly or Lily. So where, oops, where are we going? We are going to Africa. Africa. I slipped rains down in Africa. Here we go. And the, and there. Okay. So we're going to Africa. Let us jump right in. Let me first of all use my handy dandy, let's throw this on, on the ground. Use my book to tell me what I'm eating first. Okay. So first off, we are trying from India to Kenya. We are trying premium Kenyan chevda, delicious savory snack. And if you hear something in the background, it is on um, youth football season has midget, started. Midget we call it midget football. I don't know if anybody else calls it midget football or they call it youth football. So that's it. Okay. So this is what we're using. We're gonna try this first. It's like, it maybe looks like it's like a little bit of a snack, like a trail mix kind of, but with potatoes and nuts. Okay, so we're gonna hand this over. Thank you. A little napkin here to make this easier. Okay. Okay. So that's how the snack can be. While the heart, while the heat of the snack, while the heart of the snack snack mix remains the same. Oh, I didn't even read the start of this. Well, this came from India to Kenya. What do you think about it? Not bad. Yeah. 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 It's okay. Yeah. It's kind of like a, um, like a sweet, sweet and heat, a little bit sweet and a little yeah. bit spicy at the yeah. end. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's kind of good. It is. I like that. Yeah. The origin of Kenyan Chevda. The heat comes at the end. As Indian migrants attempted to create the nostalgic foods from their homeland, they'd find that certain ingredients weren't as readily available. That's how the snack came to be. While the heart of the snack mix remains the same to the Indian recipe, the Kenyan version uses potatoes in favor of lentils cashews in addition to the usual peanuts and a touch of sweetness to suit the local preference. That gives you some heat in the end here. Doesn't it? Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. I think it gives you a little heat at the end. It's not a lot. No, enough to let you know that it's But just delayed. a little bit. I like that. I like that a lot. <coughs> this will not be going to my brother, Kevin. Okay. Next up, we have... We're going to stay in with the potatoes. We have... Maceris Cape Fruit Chutney Potato Crisps. Crispy chips with a fruity twist. Okay. So let's try these. Here we go. Okay. Mmm. I get a little bit of a dusting of a fruit, kind of like a, a different taste. Yeah, I like the first one better. I dropped that down. Yeah, the first one was the better one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it says tropical heat on the front, that first one. Okay, next, we're going to be trying some popcorn. It is caramel and pistachio popcorn. Here we go. Caramel corn with a pistachio coating. Now my question to everybody is, do you say caramel or caramel? 
because we say caramel. I can guarantee you my mother says caramel. Heck yeah. Caramel's for the Ritzies. It just tastes like, um, it just tastes like caramel corn. Yeah. All right. It's better than the second one. Not as good as the first one. I mean, I can taste maybe not in there. Well. It's just caramel corn. Yeah. It's just caramel corn. Okay. Next up, we have a, an orange cake. Ooh, fancy. Here we go. It is Moulin d'Or Savior orange cake. Mmm. Or orange cake. Okay. Put it on your napkin. Here, here it is. It. Okay, so here we go. Dry. Too dry. It's a little dry. I don't know that. Maybe orange is on the. I don't know where the orange is. Uh -uh, dry. You know, like. I mean, it I mean, wasn't. It isn't worse. It wasn't the worst thing I've yet. ever eaten in my life. I mean, the worst thing I've probably had in one of these boxes was that one with the seaweed. Oh yeah. That got me sick. That literally got me sick. Okay, next up, we have a, what do we have? Okay, we have some cream cookies with mango. Where are they? Let me see. Okay, here are mango cream cookies from Nuvida. Here we go. Okay. Oh, isn't it super tender? It really is. This one just broke. Okay. Wow. Here you go. Dolly loves lemon. I, I enjoy a lemon from time to time. So it's just like a mini, um, mini Oreo, like a golden Oreo. No, this isn't bad. I'm not a fan. Not bad. You want to talk about dry? Yeah, dry. It's a dry. Okay. So far, my favorite thing is that first thing. Kevin might be getting this. Yeah, I think so. Okay, next up, we're gonna go with some, some ginger chicken, yes, I don't know about this smell of these. Yasa mm -hmm. plantain chips. So here we go. <coughs> There. Is this a piece of, oh, wait, oh, oh, it has a little, um, it, it has a little message in it. I thought that was some, I thought somebody messed up and put something in there. It shouldn't be in there. Well, what's okay. it say? What's the message say? The message says, making music without pause damages the instruments. All right. I'm making music without pause. Next time I make try to make music, I won't pause. Um, and I will pause. Or or think about like that might be just a, a message for life. Yes, Debbie. I don't like these. No. I'm I'm not. I'm glad I took a little one. Of that I'm one. not even finishing that. I'm no, not a fan I of that. I took a little tiny one. Nope, that. didn't like that. Okay. No, I don't like that. These are, these are going by quickly. Okay. Kevin's getting this box. Yeah. Next we have, um, <laughs> everybody's probably like, so you give the crummy ones to Kevin? No. Yeah. They well, eat anything. Just, I mean, uh, not always, but okay. Next we have tropical heat, tropical heat waves, potato crisps, tomato flavor. I have found from um, from Universal Yums that a lot of countries have flavored uh, tomato flavored potato chips. Okay, here we go. No taste, no, none whatsoever. Nothing. Absolutely no taste. Nothing at all. 
If it wasn't for the color, you wouldn't know what the heck it was. No taste. Nothing. Absolutely no taste of tomatoes. Nothing. No taste. None, none whatsoever. Those are as bland as bland could be. And if they were flavored with um, tomatoes. See, my thinking is it's going to taste like it's flavored with some ketchup. No. That would be the weakest ketchup. It wouldn't be Heinz. Okay. Next up, we have shortbread cookies with a hint of ginger. There we go. It's a big box. And it says, when Diwali arrives in early November, many Indian communities in Kenya bake ba biscuits, a buttery treat spiced with ginger. These thick square biscuits are holiday favorite. As you'll see, the packaging reflects the long twisty nature of the cookie's evolution from its origins in Scotland to Britain to India to Kenya. Oh, hence the plaid, Scotland. Okay. So let's see. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, it looks like you can't look any other way if you're shortbread. So here it is. Okay. They might be okay, Duncan, but. That's a shortbread cookie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't even say dry because that's the definition of a shortbread cookie. It's not. Yeah. You're never going to get a tender, soft. They might, they might be good Duncan. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're for anyway. So. I don't know that I taste any ginger. No. No. I mean, all right. Okay, next we have Moulin d'Or Tartlet. There we go. It is an almond tart topped with almonds. I'm gonna tell you this much. I love almonds. I love the smell of almonds. I love the smell of almonds. I love the taste of almond flavoring. Oh. Boy, this looks dry as the desert. Looks as dry as the desert. Okay. It it really does. What? Wait a minute. What's that smell? You have to get into the inside part here, Debbie. I think. I mean, mm -hmm. we're just getting the crust here. Mm hmm. I mean, this is a. I can get smell. In, get into that inside part. I mean, not just the crust. Is the inside more like, you can smell it. You can smell the almond. Yeah. Like, it smells like. This isn't bad. Did you ever use, like, the um, the original Jergens that has the smell of, like, cherry and um, almond? Didn't say that I have. I love the smell. And that's what this smells like. Mmm. Mmm. So you have to get into mm. the inside part. This could be a candle. This could smell like a candle. I would buy that candle. Well, this isn't that bad. No. No, this one's not too bad. That moves up to the first one that we had. All these others are dry and bland. Well, I would rank, I would probably rank that Kenya Chevda first, and then I would put this one second. Mm, I would put that one first. Is there anything else here? And there's one more that we okay. have left. Thank you for asking um, for that perfect transition slash segue. Yes, we have the Moulin Door Fun Kiz Quick Is Apricot Cake. Here we go. Oh, that's fun. All right. It's an apricot cake, but wait a minute. It's cocoa dipped vanilla cake with an apricot center. Oh, it looks like it's like a, like a Twinkie. Look. Woo. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. And there's, I have hope for this. There's look in the center. Oh yeah, chocolate on the outside. Mm. I mean on the bottom part. 
This isn't bad. Oh, no. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. I rank at number one. This is pretty good. Yeah. They saved the best for last. Yeah. Doesn't that remind you of like yeah, a Twinkie? Now, look. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Doesn't it remind you of a Twinkie kind of? It's nice and soft too. It's not a, yeah, it's good. Okay, so my favorites I'm going with. I actually think, I actually think I'm still going to put keep this one as number one. And then I'm going to go with that one that we just had and then the tartlet. I'm going with this one first and then the tartlet. The one we just had yeah, in the tartlet. and then that one last. The Kevda. Okay. Which one is your least favorite? Oh, this, uh. That dry, uh, these, these tomato things here and that, they were pretty lousy. These tomato, potato chips or something. I'm going to say my least favorite was... And then that Oreo. No, my there. least favorite was these, was the ginger... Oh, uh, yeah, that was pretty Chicken yeah. plantains. Yeah. And then followed up by the um, tomato chips. Yeah. Those are my least favorite. Okay. Okay, so that was this month's box. Um, we went to Africa. We had started off um, hopeful. And if I was ranking it out of a five on a box, I would say maybe a 2.5 or a three. What would you rank it? The whole box. Out of a five. Out of five. Yeah. Two. Okay. Two. Okay. Yeah, there was more here that we didn't like. Yeah. It was just dry. A lot of it was just dry. Are we giving that? We're not giving that to Kevin, obviously. No. There's not. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm done eating. Okay. So. <laughs> Welcome to Conversations oh, at the yeah. Table. Um, okay. So, in the comments... Let us know which one of these you guys would um, like the most, which guys, you, which ones you guys would not like at all. Um, and with that being said, listen, if nobody told you yet today, oh, you know what? I had said happy Sunday. We're filming this Sunday. You're going to see this on Monday. So happy Monday. I hope everybody had a great weekend and is having a great start to the, to the week. So with that being said, if nobody told you yet today, um, you are loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there in the world. Please make sure take care of one another. Always be aware of your surroundings. Be safe. If you're someplace where it's extremely hot, please hydrate. Drink water often. And if you are in the path of any terrible weather, whether it be Ernesto or anything else, please be safe. We are sending out prayers, thoughts, and loves, and loves, and love. And I will see you tomorrow. And anything from our special guest? No, just take care of yourself. Take care of yourselves. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys.